What is up everybody? I'm back with my week eight NFL predictions. Uh, week seven, we went eight and six. It's honestly better than a good chunk of our weeks, but not really where I wanna be overall. We can do better than that. But um, I'll have last week in our yearly record down here and the predictions will go right here, um, somewhere like that. And we're just gonna start it off. So the first game, Thursday Night Football. Great game, Redskins at Vikings. Um, I have the Vikings, the Redskins are very bad. Um, they shouldn't really put up much of a fight. They're not good, that's about it. Next is Seahawks at Falcons, I have the Seahawks. They had a pretty rough loss against Baltimore, but it is Baltimore, they are a good team. Um, they can't get that upset about it. And the Falcons are at home, so Julio Jones should go off, because he does good at home, but I don't know. Um, but I have the Seahawks winning that one. Next we have Buccaneers at Titans. I have the Buccaneers winning this one. Um, Buccaneers are on bye. They're a pretty good offense. Chris Godwin and Mike Evans is a good uh, wide receiver duo, one of the best in the league. And the Titans just aren't, like, talked about. They're not a good team overall. It's whatever. <clears throat> Next, we have Cardinals at Saints. The Saints are really good, even with Teddy Bridgewater. The Cardinals beat the Giants last week, but the Saints just, like, they keep steamrolling through teams. Like, I think they only have one loss on the season, and I have them winning this game, staying at one loss. 7-1, I'm pretty sure they're gonna go. Um, that should be... I think that could be a pretty good game, but who knows. Next is Bengals at Rams. I have the Rams. The Bengals suck. The Rams are okay. That's all you need to say. Next is Eagles at Bills. I have the Bills. The Eagles got embarrassed against the Cowboys last week. Um, they lost by a good chunk of points. Um, that was a very sad performance on the Eagles, per, uh, on the Eagles part. Um, and the Bills are a pretty good team. I don't know how much of the real deal they actually are, but we'll see this week, honestly. Next we have Chargers at Bears. Um, I have the Bears. I don't really know how good the Chargers truly are. They're like, they don't have a great record. I think they only have like two wins, which is really surprising because on paper, they're a better team than two wins. But I still have the Bears winning this one. I feel like they just are the better team, more likely to win. That's about it. Um, next we have the Giants at Lions. I, I feel like the Lions are going to win, but I'm picking the Giants to win. I can't go against my team like that. Nope. Um, I want the Giants to win, but anything can happen, truly. Wouldn't be surprised if they lost. I hope they win, though. Next is Jets at Jaguars. Really boring game. Jets got killed by the Patriots yesterday on Monday Night Football. Like 30 30 0. Very sad performance. Um, the Jaguars are going to win this game. Leonard Fournette should have a good game because Jets don't really have a good defense or offense or overall team. So, yeah. Next, we have Raiders at Texans. Um, I have the Texans winning this one. I have a long string of home teams winning these games, it seems like. Um, but the Texans. The Raiders, I don't know how truly good they are. Um, they don't, they started off the season pretty well, but like, I don't think they're actually that good. I think they're just gonna start downgrading, um, regressing throughout the rest of the season, sadly. But I have the Texans winning this one. They need to win more games. They gotta win the division. With Andrew Luck retiring, this is their division to win, and this game's big for them. Next, Panthers at 49ers. I have the 49ers. They're gonna stay undefeated. Panthers aren't that good. Um, I would be curious to see what Christian McCaffrey can do against the 49ers defense, which is like one of the best in the league, because they like they barely given up like a lot of yards to teams. I wonder what he'll do. We'll see on Sunday. Um, but that'll be a good game to watch, hopefully. Next we have Browns at Patriots. Two of the most hyped up teams coming into this season and I have the Patriots winning. I don't like picking the Browns. I don't really like picking the Patriots either, but 
that it's just so hard to pick against the Patriots. They're such a good team, and it's just like, how do you pick it against that team, against the Browns? The Browns haven't been performing. Baker Mayfield's already thrown like 12 picks this year, and if he's playing the Patriots, he may throw like three or four this week, and that'll be sad if he does. Next we have Broncos at Colts. I have a Colts. Broncos aren't that thrilling of a team, that good of a team in general. Um, Colts have been pretty good with Jacoby Brissett as our QB. Um, they've been a very big surprise. They performed well against Houston last week. They won. Um, they held Houston pretty well. I feel like they can easily do that against the Broncos and start a good win streak or continue it. I have no clue. I don't know win streak or not. <laughs> Next we have Packers at Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is playing, this would have been a great, great game. But without him playing, it's not as good. It's still good overall, but I have the Packers winning this one, I think. Honestly, I don't even really remember what pick. Or maybe the Chiefs, maybe the Packers. You'll see right here. Um, but this can easily go either way. It should be a good game, even with Mahomes not playing. Um, but I'm pretty sure I did pick the Chiefs, actually. Um, should be a good game, like I said multiple times. And the final game of the week, Dolphins at Steelers. Big snooze fest. Dolphins suck. Steelers suck. Dolphins are worse than the Steelers. Steelers are going to win this one. That is it for me. Um, comment down below if you think your team's going to win. And I am out. Peace.